Today, we're going to take a look at how to generate work plans for work orders through Field Service Lightning on Salesforce. So the first thing we want to do is we want to migrate to an object called the work plan template. So from here, really what we're going to be concerned about are work plan template entries and then work plan selection rules. So as you can see, we have four here, but let's create one more just to show you what it will look like. So if we click new, we're brought to a screen where we're going to identify the work plan step and the execution order. Now, I already knew the execution order is going to be five, but if I don't currently have a work step template in place, I'll need to create one. And so really what we're doing here is we're able to give it a name. So we'll say final sign off on walkthrough, both listed as active. And this can just be a step that I have in the system so I know what to do, or we can define it through a flow or a global action. So we can automatically have this kick off once we get to this stage. So very flexible options here, but for now, we'll just click save. We'll hit save. And so from there, when I create a work plan, this template should generate if my work plan selection rule is in place. So from here, if we can look at this. So what we're saying is that this work plan template should be tied to a work order if that work type on the work order is at a break fix. <clears throat> but we can also tie it to certain products, certain assets that we might have tied to that account, any particular service contracts or any locations. So a lot of flexibility here and growing with this feature. So we'll leave this be. We'll come now and generate a work order. So we'll create new. So we'll say that this could be in the San Francisco service territory, that this is a break fix. This is a high, you know, we'll tie it to Lauren, who we've been working with, maintenance contract. But really, other than that, all we need to fill out here is the subject line. So I'll do break fix for Ohana Tech. And we can click Save. So now what this will do is this will generate this work plan along with all the other automation that we have tied to this work order. So we see that connector cables are also needed as well. So what we would do is we would work through all of these um, and there's some additional features here to mark it as not applicable or to edit or to just click complete. So we'll just complete all of these, you know, create product request. Let me complete warehouse, save. So as you can see, some of these are just populated with um, quick actions here. We'll click complete, we'll click complete and we will complete. And once we've done that, it is now easy to report on how many work plans are being completed, what actions are being marked as not applicable if we're giving that option. So the ability to understand how efficient from start to finish we're being with each work plan associated to a work order.